Hello, it's Wednesday the 22nd of June 2050 and if you're heading to Glastonbury this weekend the Met Office have issued an extreme heat warning with the ongoing heat wave expected to continue until Sunday evening. Widely across the UK today temperatures have reached the high 30s with a high of 40 Celsius in Doncaster and 38 Celsius at Glastonbury. For Glastonbury, it's the third day in a row with temperatures here in excess of 30 Celsius. And with high pressure over Scandinavia, low pressure close to Ireland, southerly winds will continue to waft very hot air towards the UK from the continent tomorrow. And with long spells of hot sunshine from the word go, temperatures will quickly climb tomorrow to 37 Celsius by the afternoon. Another hot day is expected on Friday with the mercury expected to reach 38 Celsius by the afternoon. And for context, up until the start of the 2020s, the highest temperature on record at the Glastonbury Festival was 31.2 degrees. Little relief overnight either with temperatures expected to remain in the 30s well into the evening and a minimum temperature of 26 Celsius. Needless to say, a very uncomfortable night for clamping. Saturday will be the sixth day of this heat wave with temperatures expected to peak at 37 Celsius in the afternoon and with these temperatures by day and with little relief at night there is a serious concern especially for vulnerable people who are likely to experience adverse health impacts but even fit and healthy people could suffer from heat exhaustion and other heat related illnesses particularly at a festival. Of course, it will be difficult to escape the heat at Glastonbury, but the advice is to drink plenty of fluids, dress appropriately for the weather, and try to seek shade as much as you can. There's the additional risk that such high temperatures could impact transport and power distribution, which could affect travel to and from Glastonbury. Some relief is on the way from Sunday, although temperatures will still reach 34 Celsius by day. A much cooler night is expected as lower pressure arrives from the west and temperatures drop to 16 degrees. But before we get there, we need to take the severe heat of the next few days very seriously. Thankfully, this isn't a real forecast. But it is one possible scenario for how a summer heat wave could affect the UK in almost 30 years time. Possible and could are words that express uncertainty, but don't let that lull you into a false sense of security. Much of the uncertainty is because the climate by 2050 depends partly on how much we reduce global greenhouse emissions in the years to come. Greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide have been rising in our atmosphere since the Industrial Revolution, and in that time, the world has warmed by more than a degree Celsius. If this rate continues, global average temperatures could reach 1.5 Celsius above pre-industrial levels within the next 10 to 20 years. And in the UK, further warming is also expected. If greenhouse gases continue to rise following a high scenario throughout the 21st century, well, this middle line shows the most likely temperature change by 2050. Compared to 1981 to 2000 average, 1.7 degrees warming by 2050 and more than four degrees warming by 2100. The shaded area represents the full range of likely temperature changes if emissions were to be that high. However, if emissions start to be cut now and reduced to zero around 2070, the increase could be limited to 1.3 degrees by 2050 and 1.4 by 2100. As you can see, action now will make a difference by 2050, but an even bigger difference by 2100 but we're not yet on track for that reduced level of warming. And current policies on greenhouse gas emissions would take us somewhere between these two scenarios, between the red and the blue lines. More ambitious global emissions reductions could limit warming further. The UK has committed to bringing its own emissions to net zero by 2050, and several other nations have also made similar pledges. The Glastonbury 2050 forecast was based on a high emissions scenario. It's useful to illustrate how our weather patterns may change and what that could look like if we don't curb emissions. Of course, the UK's weather will continue to be highly variable, but on average, in a high emissions scenario, winter rainfall would increase and summer rainfall would decrease. Warmer, wetter winters, hotter, drier summers, we already have an idea of what this would feel like. 
February 2020 was the wettest on record. In 2019, the UK recorded its highest temperature on record, and summer 2018 was the joint hottest summer on record. 30 years ago, the chance of seeing a summer like 2018 was very low. It's now higher, but by the 2050s, under a high emission scenario, it's about as likely as not. Hotter, drier summers may not sound like a bad outcome, but as you saw in this example forecast, such severe heat with little relief at night can cause a significant health risk, especially for vulnerable people. Higher temperatures will also bring many other risks across the UK and even more severe risks elsewhere in the world. Places that are already hot will be even hotter, with millions of people being exposed to dangerous levels of heat on a regular basis. If no action is taken to reduce emissions, those problems will continue to increase in the future.